Hello, we are the Group One, and we are going to compare Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 versus Apple Keynote 08. Microsoft PowerPoint was developed by Melody Austin and Thomas Radking. That was called Presenter in 1987. It was remained to PowerPoint due to problems of trademark, the idea of the same coming with Robert Ganskin. In August of the same year, Microsoft bought PowerPoint 14 million USD or 27.1 million dollar in present-day terms and became Microsoft Graphic Business Unit, which continued to develop further. PowerPoint was officially launched on May 22, 1990. The same day that Microsoft released Windows 3.0, PowerPoint changed significant with PowerPoint 97. Prior to 97, presentation were linear, always proceed from one slide to the next. PowerPoint 97 incorporated the Visual Basic for application (VBA) language, underlying all macro generation in Office 97, which allowed user to invoke predefined transition and effects in a non-linear movie-like style. History of Apple Keynote Keynote began as a software program for Apple CEO Steve Jobs to use in creating the presentation for Macworld Conference and Expo and other Apple Keynotes event. Jobs had used concurrence from Light of Design, a similar product which ran on the next step and open step platforms. The program was first sold publicity in Keynote 1.0 in 2003, completing again existing presentation software, most notably Microsoft PowerPoint. In 2005, Apple began selling Keynote 2.0 in conjunction with Pages, a new word processing and page layout application, in a software package called iWork. At the Macworld Conference and Expo 2006, Apple released iWork 06 with updated version of Keynote 3.0 and Pages 2.0, in addition to official HD compatibility. Keynote 3 added new features including group scaling 3D charts, multi-column text boxes, auto bullets, in a field text, image adjustment, and freeform masking tool in addition. Keynote features three-dimensional transitions such as a rotating cube or a simple flip on the slide. In the fall of 2007, Apple released Keynote 4.0 in iWork 08, along with the pages 3.0 and the new numbers spreadsheets application. Office PowerPoint 2007 Future Charts Charts are converted to OLE objects, which you can edit. However, a chart may appear differently if you edit in an earlier version of PowerPoint and then they open in Office PowerPoint 2007. Custom slide layouts. Custom slide layouts that have specific backgrounds, unique slide transition, and more are rep represented as multiple masters. Drop shadows. Drop shadows, so outer shadows are converted to hard shadow that you can edit. Heading and body fonts. Heading in body fonts are converted to statistic formatting. If you then reopen the file in Office PowerPoint 2007 and use a different style, heading in body fonts do not automatically change shape, pictures, objects, animation, and new effects including the following, the two two-dimensional 2D or three-dimensional 3D text, region outlines on shape or text, straight through and double straight through on text, region picture and texture fills on text, shadows, soft edge, reflection, and most 3D effects on any kind of object. New visual features are effects that available in Office PowerPoint 2007 are converted to an editable feature in earlier version PowerPoint. Smart art graphics. Smart art graphics are converted an editable feature in earlier version of PowerPoint. If Microsoft have a PowerPoint, Apple have a Keynote. It's the most powerful presentation application ever designed for a mobile device. Now, iPad, iPhone, and iPod touch 
are part of the show. Keynote gives you even faster ways to create, more captivating ways to present, and smarter ways to share. You can almost hear the applause already. A great presentation is on the tip of your finger. Tap a team to start, tap to edit slides, and tap to create lots of oohs and us. Choose from 12 Apple design teams and you're already off to create great start. Every slide in a team shares the same font, colors, and background. Tables and charge charts have matching textures. Even the slides are pre-designed. When you add a new slide, choose a slide layout. Then, tap the placeholder text and images to make them your own. Write catchy headlines using the on-screen keyboard. Insert photos, charts, and tables. And in a few minutes, You'll have it all down. Tap to organize. Tap to edit. Organize your presentation with a slide navigator. It shows a handy thumbnail view of your slides. Click to browse them all. Tap to add new ones. Drag to record them, even a few at a time. And group related slides together. It's just as easy to edit an object or photo on a slide. Drag a coin to resize it, twist to rotate it, and drag to move it around. Use the alignment guides to place everything exactly where you want it to be. They hang on every word and every photo, table, and chart. What's a presentation without visuals? Add photos and movies from the photos application and make them show worthy. Mask images, up reflections, and add picture frames. Create arrows, starts, or other shapes. And give them shadows so they pop. You can even make data look great in Keynote. Insert tables and charts and edit them right in your slides. And paste whenever you like from pages, numbers, Safari, or mail. Keynote constantly saves your work. You never have to worry about losing a change to your presentation because Keynote automatically saves your work. While you work, you can pick up right where you left off the time. You open the file, and the undo feature lets you go back through your changes, no matter when you made them. Graphics soar across the screen. Words will dramatically over a photo. Slides to flip one another after another. With a top, you can add stunning transitions and effects. You make your presentation shine or flash, pop or twist. Add some effects to keep things moving. Some slides could use a little drama. Cinema, quality drama, words, charts, photos or graphics can animate on and off the screen, even across consecutive slides with magic move. As you add animations, preview them on the slide to see how they turn out. Different similarities between Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 and Apple Keynote Zero 08. For Microsoft, the 2000 PowerPoint release is a success. The 2007 introduced the Smart Art application. A smart layout is also vastly enriched in this release. For non-user of this application, it will be very tricky due to its changes. Designed to help you get a point across with images, PowerPoint 2007 makes some useful adjustment. Drop-down menus sty of styles, word art, and slide animators let you roll your mouse over them to preview the changes on your page before you finalize it. You won't need a design degree to create a good-looking slide. It is simplicity for the best for Microsoft company. Since Apple is highly developed, its software and features of the keynote is almost for 3D presentation. It is also wide. It is also wide variety of slide designs, animation graphs, etc. You can also see the progress of what you're doing through Slide Navigator. One of Keynote's pros is it easy to use tools that let you add tables, media, shape, etc. Precision is one of the advanced features of the said software because you can put a graph or a photo where you want it to be. If you're adding a graph to your, 
to your slide, you will appreciate connection lines to your graph. When the graph is moving, connection lines also move. Kino's transition are highly shown in every slide transition. It has 25 transitions including 3 3D transitions. Flexibility how to present your slide is also one of Keynote's Pro. You can have it remote control or if you have an iPad with a touch of Wi-Fi, you can also present using it. It shows that Apple is working in perfection. Insights for the two application. For those who are willing to pay the high price of perfection, the Keynote is highly recommended. It has a close to standing ovation quality of presentation, yet it is not that affordable. But for Microsoft, its main target is the mass. Users, especially students, and for free download, it is understandable that Microsoft has got the sweet yes of the people. Similarities. PowerPoint and Keynote as software packages target a similar purpose to present slides to for public presentations. However, there is a difference when it comes to the quality of the result. Apple Keynote is engineered in such a way that makes it easier to achieve your results. The available interface options are more focused than the thousands of buttons in PowerPoint. There is also a lot simple way to achieve stunning effects that are difficult to replicate in PowerPoint. The two presentation programs, Microsoft PowerPoint and Apple Keynote, are each part of an office suit respectively Microsoft Office and Apple iWork. Nobody can buy them by part. So, the cost of Microsoft Office 2007 is $65, while the cost of Apple iWork is $79. As for the OS comp compatibility, MS Office is a cross-platform suit. So, MS PowerPoint can both be used in Windows and Mac OS X. However, Apple create, created iWorks only for their system. So, Keynote is only compa compatible for Mac OS X and iOS and cannot be used in Windows.